All right, time to mount up some auxiliary lights to my uh, Zongshen CSC TT250. So first step is making sure that your fender is centered uh, with your, I don't know, handlebars, tire, everything. So when I first um, got this bike, this tip of the fender was actually kind of over a little bit. I would notice that when I'd sit on the seat and going down a hill or something, it'll move back and forth about an inch if you loosen up the bolts. Right there. Got these four. So you can slightly loosen those. Make sure your fender is centered on the tire and pointing straight forward. It's not crooked off to the side because that would affect your mounting hole location that we're gonna get. So you can uh, just take a little clamp I have these temporarily clamped on just so I could uh, move them back and forth, point my lights. I pointed them last night to make sure they were pointing in the right direction and then making sure that it clears the plastics. So it does all that and that is where I'm going to mount it. Okay, here's my little mark from where I had them mounted to give you guys a reference point and so I can match it on the other side. I'm going to uh, Take a ruler here, rest it against my blinker, kind of perpendicular to the uh, front fork there. Use millimeters so I'm not uh, giving you fractions of an inch. So we've got, if we line the ruler up with the bottom of the fender, oops, sorry. Looks like 19. Millimeters up. I'll measure out. Let's just go right up against the uh, fork there. Let's see, we go down to the, where the mark is. There it is. Right up against the fork. And grab this a little differently so I can get closer. There we go. Right up against the fork. Flat. Going out, we've got. Looks like, let's see, 55, 6, 7, 58 millimeters. All right, 50, 58 millimeters out. That's where I'm going to drill. All right, here we go. You always want to use a uh, paddle bit when you're drilling plastics. You can use a regular drill bit, which I have done a lot of times, but I have more than I can count times cracked plastics and or chipped them with a regular drill bit because once it starts itself into the plastic, the plastic is so soft that um, it'll sometimes suck the drill bit in too fast, which creates a, you know, too much tension in the plastics and it'll crack it or take a chunk out or, or something you don't want to happen. So uh, the smallest paddle bit I have is a quarter inch, which is just tiny bit larger than the bolt that's going to go in here but it'll be okay that'll give me a tiny bit of movement with the light so let's see what we got here Okay. There it is. Looks like I melted a little bit. My bit might be getting dull. It shouldn't melt it, it should just scrape through it. Okay, I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit and uh, put the light on there. All right, here's my little bracket. There we go, so focus on it. Oh, I also spray painted that little bracket. It was silver. I um, did some satin black Krylon and just made it uh, not stand out as much that way. It kind of blends a little better. The bolt is stainless, I believe, so I just left that. I've got a fender washer on the inside so the uh, bolt doesn't pull through the fender if I hit a big fat tabletop or something. <laughs> All right, there we have it. Now my light in. Turns out that quarter inch drill bit, or paddle bit that I used to go through the fender plastic didn't have 
uh, quite as much slop as I thought. So I left everything loose right now just so I can uh, get them pointed in the right direction tonight and then I can tighten everything down. Uh, the wiring, I'm going to put a little zip tie on the outside of this ring here because that's where my uh, cable slides up and down for the speedometer and odometer. And then I'll tuck this wire down in there and make it look real clean. I'm going to end up hooking it into the uh, auxiliary 2 right there on the handlebar which is under the seat. It's actually on my panel off here because I could see them on the side. But that other one is up under the seat. You can see there, green and brown. I label them with a permanent marker so I know which one is which. That one goes to my heated grips, which I might have to make a, another video of that because those are awesome. But it comes out of the wiring harness right above your battery. Uh, I think this is the starter relay cables. So all this comes out right here. Battery hot wire. Uh, there's a fuse. And then these two auxiliary plugs come out of there. And these are, uh, I don't remember if brown is negative or green is negative, but either way, um, I'll switch them back if it doesn't work. Back and forth on the LED light. And there you have it. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side and get them wired up. And we'll see what this thing looks like.